I want to talk about the law of change. The laws of change. Two, maybe three of them. Okay? Number one, there is no nice way to get change. There is no nice way to get change. All change comes about either through conflict or threat. There's no nice way to get change. Ella Baker, nonviolent. Bob Moses, very nonviolent, very soft spoken, but still willing to do tough things. Jesus of Nazareth. Now, I'm not saying that that's the way I want it. That's the way it is. Number two is that any action has an inevitable reaction. In fact, the action is in the reaction. What's more important is not what you do, but what happens in reaction to what you do. Okay? And in fact, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Okay? So it's not what you intend to do, it's what occurs, what occurs as a result of what you do. The action is in the reaction. Number three is, there's always unintended consequences. Okay? To any action. And so that therefore it means that no matter what, how positive the intentions of doing something is, there's always going to be consequences, which are both positive and negative. Things come in pairs. And the biggest problem that most of us have is with the things that happen which are unintended, which we didn't anticipate. And there are always going to be unintended consequences to anything that we do do, okay? I mean, the unintended consequences, uh, for example, of, of, of integration was the fact that black businesses went out of business. That was not the intention. The reason why, we, you know, we, when we got, when we wanted to, inter to integrate a society and let people get rid of desegregation, okay, the, intent, the, con the intended consequence is not to drive, you know, uh, uh, black restaurants out of business, okay, black entrepreneurs out of business, but that happened a lot, okay? That was not intended. But a lot of folks who were African American could go into restaurants only owned by African Americans because they were able now to go to other places as well, to movie, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of businesses that were owned by African Americans went out of business. You think that was, if they would have, if the Civil Rights Movement said, we want to drive black business out of business. You think they'd have support of the African American community? Obviously not. Did they think that that was going to happen? Probably not. But it happened. Unintended. Totally unintended. So there's always unintended consequences, even from the most important and noblest of things, okay? You always got to be re remembering that, okay? 